Hello again, brothers. This is going to be a demonstration of how to use the Excel spreadsheet uh, using the congregation accounts for those of you who have been assigned as the account servant. I'm going to be using a Mac today, uh, but the, uh, the differences are the same because we're using uh, Excel. You can also use uh, OpenOffice.org. If you go there, you can get OpenOffice.org, the program, and it will open up an Excel spreadsheet so that you can do this uh, on a free program and uh, still get your work done. Now what this does is it it really simplifies the the problems of uh, writing everything out nice and neat, making sure that your your math is all correct. Uh, if you're like me, I can't add at all. So what this is going to do is it's going to simplify your life a lot. So what we're going to do in this first video is show you basically how to set the uh, the blank sheet up for your congregation and how to change a few things to get this ready for this next year. So what you want to do first is if you noticed we're on the January sheet, if you've used Excel in the past, you know that there's tabs down here. We've got one tab for each month and we've got a transaction database tab. So to set this up for your congregation, basically the uh, first tab that we want to go to is transaction database. And if you notice, there's information on here that's specific to your congregation. So obviously, first of all, what you want to do is change your congregation name, your city, your state, and your congregation number. And then once that's done, uh, basically the, uh, the, the sheet is customized for your congregation. Also, the dates, it starts at 2012 and goes through. So if you want, you can change these by going in here and this will be the first month that's selected it'll be the default or year rather it'll be the default year if you wanted to change that if not then in successive updates we'll change this for you so the the first year that it has up is 2012 you can change that to 2013 we'll just go ahead and do that 2013 or if you want a really quick way to do it since 2013 starts here you can click here and click down at the bottom and then you can do uh, copy which on a Mac is command and C and then go up to the top and do command and V and it fills everything in for you then you go to the last one and you do 2024 if you want to do it that way that's pretty easy uh, I believe on Windows it's control C and control V for copy and paste you'll be doing that a lot in this program alright the uh, the next thing is over here we have uh, the uh, the different types of inputs that we're going to have on our form and their coding according to the instructions. Now you can change this up. These are specific databases but you have to keep what you change in the yellow. Uh, if you want to add more uh, then that's something for another video. If I get that request then I'll make that video. If not then we'll just leave it like it is. So for now uh, you'll probably want to leave all these the same. Uh, leave the deposit, the branch, leave all these the same because those are on our forms. Uh, then these right here from 20 to 25 uh, are actually other expenses. So these are for your utilities, City Shiner, uh, AT&T is your phone company, Generic Conferencing is the, uh, uh, the service that we use for our telephone patch-in, and then of course cleaning supplies, expense, and circuit overseer expense. If you leave those the same, then basically any other expense that you have you can just put it as a generic expense and then type in what it's for we'll show you how to do that a little bit later we have a few of those also the type of receipts uh, these are for the uh, the uh, uh, record at the end the uh, the part that you put on the information board at the end of the month so these can pretty much stay the same unless you have a, a special situation and then other others are put in here that you can put in so basically once you get that done, you get this all filled out, uh, when we go over to our first spreadsheet in January, if you notice, uh, up here, you can select drop downs. So we want this to be 2013. <clears throat> and other than that, it fills in the names of your congregation, the date, the month, and that all stays the same. Now, this little column right here is going to be automatically put in all the ones with the little green deals on them are automatically put in whenever you enter information. And we'll show you that on the next video when we're actually inputting it in to see what it does. 
And then, of course, I kind of modified this one a little bit so that at the end, instead of having to do all this work of putting in all the the, uh, the old WEFTIS, uh, the Watchtower Electronic Furnace Transfer System information in, it does it for you automatically. So basically, you just have to put in your KHAA and your TOAA and your loan payments, and it does the rest for you. Uh, then, of course, uh, it fills in all the blanks. Uh, once you change one date at the top, it changes it at the bottom as well, so you only have to do that once. Uh, you will have to put the expenditures in uh, because sometimes some expenditures are in twice, like when AT&T decides to send you a bill twice in a month, or it just winds up ending up that way. Uh, all the things are exactly the same. We put in the new uh, information that was provided on the 2013 letter. Uh, you will need to type in the name of the brother of the account servant, so when you print it off, then you can sign it next to it. Uh, this is going to be on five sheets, so it's best if you have a uh, printer that does double-sided copies. It makes it a lot easier. Otherwise, you'll have to print one sheet off at a time, and we'll show you how to do that, too. You need to fill in whether it's a congregation. I put just a lowercase x in whatever you're doing here, and it fills in for you. And then, of course, your uh, donations and payments when you get on the website. Uh, this is all filled out. So before I print all of this out, what I do is I get on the website, I put all the information in, I put the date, I put the time, then I put the confirmation number that's down here and make sure that it's the exact same amount. And uh, then, of course, the names again down at the bottom. And the good thing about this sheet is, is once you get done with one month, then all of your information that transfers over, it does it automatically to the next month. So the only time you have to change it is, number one, if a form is changed, or number two, if you're going to a new year, you'd need to uh, copy the totals up here on the second side of the sheet, which would be in, well, if I can get it to quit scrolling right here, at the accounts rec uh, sheet reconciliation, so it would be the checking account balance forward that you would put that in. But we'll see that on the next video. So that's a good introduction. Uh, we'll go ahead and stop there. And the next video is we're going to get into the Shiner congregation accounts here in Texas. They're pretty simple, so it shouldn't take too long to go through it to uh, get a feel for how to actually use this, including some, some, uh, uh, some functions, some formulas that will make your life a lot easier. So that's it for this video.